Krishna Mahatmya Suchakam Atmalam Cha Paritratam Ashvatam no Astra Tejasaha Sneham Cha Vrishni Patanam Tisham Bhaktim Cha Keshave Tevyaha Parama Santushta Preeti Ujrimhita Lochana Maha Dhanani Vasangsi Dadao Haran Maha Muna Tatra Tatro Pashinvana Svapurvesha Mahatmanam Ragiya Manam Jayasha Krishna Mahatmya Suchakam Atmanam Chaparitratam Ashvatam Nos Tatejasa Sneham Cha Vrishni Patanam Desham Bhaktim Cha Keshave Tevyak Paramasantushta Pridyujrim Hitalochana Mahadhalani Vasangsi Dadoharan Mahamana Translation Wherever the king visited, he continuously heard the glories of his great forefathers, who were all devotees of the Lord, and also of the glorious acts of Lord Krishna. He also heard how he himself had been protected by the Lord from the powerful heat of the weapon of Ashvatthama. People also mentioned the great affection between the descendants of Rishni and Prita due to the latter's great devotion to Lord Keshava. The king, being very pleased with the singers of such glories, opened his eyes in great satisfaction. Out of magnanimity, he was pleased to award them very valuable necklaces and clothing. Maharaj Parikhet is on his true. And what did he meet in every place? Tatra Tatra Upasanana. Everyone was speaking very highly. Sapurbisha about his forefathers, especially the grandfathers, Panchapandam, Mahatmana. They are not ordinary persons. Mahatmana. Mahatmana and Duratmana, two words. Mahatmana, a great mind or <coughs> great personalities. And Duratmana means mischievous person. There are two kinds, mischievous and magnanimous. <coughs> Everywhere. So the forefathers of Maharaj Parikhi, Sapurvesham, they are not ordinary person, they are Mahatma. So how one can become Mahatma? It is not very difficult. 
provided one wants to become Mahatma. Nothing is difficult in this world, provided one wants to have it or to become. So how to become Mahatma? That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. What is that? Mahatmanastumang Pratha Devi Prakiti Mahasita. Bhajanti Ananda Manasu. This is Mahatma. Sa Mahatma Sudulava. First of all, Krishna said, Sa Mahatma Sudulava. To get a Mahatma, uh, broadly minded, great personality, it is very difficult to find out. Uh, but still, one may try to find out what are the symptoms of Mahatma that is discussed in Bhagavad Gita. Uh, when one understands Krishna is the origin or original source of everything, Janmātasya Jataha, as is it indicated in the Vedānta Sutra, that the absolute truth is that from whom uh, everything emanates. That is absolute truth. Uh, so what is the nature of that absolute truth, animate or inanimate? And that is also discussed. Avigya, animate. The origin, source of everything must be animate. In this way, uh, when one comes to the conclusion, as it is stated by Krishna Himself personally, Matta Paratanam Nanya Kinchi Jasti Dhananjaya. My dear Dhananja, there is no more uh, superior, uh, I will say, objective than myself. So people will not accept this. If I say that there is no more superior person than me, the people will love. Uh, it may be true or not true, that is the problem. But if anyone is very much proud of his personality and he says that there is no more superior person than me, then at least in the beginning people will love. That is nature. But when Krishna says, matta paratarangnanyat kinchi jasti dhananjaya, there is no more superior person than me anywhere. So who will accept it? Huh? One who knows, he will accept. Yes, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. Huh? So how this knowledge is achieved? Uh, because uh, to accept Krishna, just like we accept by authority, we are we belong to the Chaitanya Mahapurushka. He preached. His cult means Chaitanya cult means Krishna cult. Uh, Krishna Varnam, simply describing Krishna. That was his vision. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> in this way, when one understands Krishna, not perfectly, one cannot understand Krishna perfectly, it is not possible. Even Krishna himself cannot understand himself. He is so great. That is greatness. God is great. That the God who is great, he cannot also understand how great he is. <coughs> that is God. Nobody can understand. But as far as possible, uh, we can understand from the Shastras, Sadhu Shastra Guru, three sources, we can understand and make our conclusion that Krishna is the Supreme. 
So that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita that Bahunam Janmanamanti Gyanavan Manga Prabhadati Basudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sudhulla. People are searching after knowledge, philosophers, scientists, politicians, and others, so many. Everyone is after knowledge. Brahma Jigyasa, Jigyasa, everyone is inquiring what is the supreme, absolute truth. That is possible in this human form of life, not in the cats and dogs of life. So those who are uh, cats and dogs in the form of human being, they cannot inquire. They cannot inquire. Because they may be in the form of a human being, but actually they are no better than cats and dogs. Who are they? Ahara nidra bhaya maithanancha samanna maithat pasubhi narana. Then the eating material necessities of life, eating, we want to eat something, we must eat to keep this body fit. Then we must sleep also after eating, not always. Uh, not in this assembly, but after eating you can sleep. <laughs> there is sleeping place, and not here. Uh, that is not good. Uh, so eating, sleeping. Then after eating, after sleeping, everyone knows the sex becomes agitated. Then mating. Eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. How to protect myself? Because the whole world is full of enemies. This is material world. So everyone is struggling hard. How to protect myself? So these four principles are animal principles. Uh, so uh, that is the defense that the uh, such animal propensities are there amongst the cats and dogs, and uh, in the human being also these necessities are there. But if we remain captivated only by these four principles, then we remain cats and dogs. It doesn't matter <coughs> however nicely we are dressed, but we remain as cats and dogs, in the category of cats and dogs. Uh, the modern civilization is that he is actually a dog, a cat, but he dresses himself very nicely to become gentleman. Uh, so Shastra says no. We have to test whether he is human being or a cat and dog. Who oh, what is? So if we see that people are engaged only in these four business, eating, sleeping, meeting, and defending, he is cat. Above them, they are inquiring. Athāta brahma jīgyāsā, they are inquiring about the absolute truth. Uh, they are above these cats and dogs. This is the test. What subject matter is his inquiry? Uh, just like there are big, big scientists, they are making research. If petrol can be substituted. So, in the eyes of the common man, he may become a very great scientist, but those who are advanced in spiritual consciousness, they will take him no better than cat and dog, because his subject matter is how to eat, sleep, or make, or defend. The subject matter, we have to understand what is the subject matter of this person? Uh, uh, <coughs> in the English proverb, it is said, a man is known by his company. Uh, similarly, if the subject matter is animalistic, aharonidra then, however, he may be big man, 
we will take him amongst the categories of cats and dogs. Uh, then who is above? That above who is inquiring about the absolute jiggyasu, sreyo tamam, he is human being. Jiggyasu. He may not know in the beginning, but if he is inquisitive about knowing the absolute truth, uh, he is human. Just try to understand what is the distinction between a human being and cat and dog. So a human being means he is inquiring about the spirit soul or the spiritual world, the supreme spirit, God, Krishna. He is human being. Otherwise cats and dogs. It is very easy to distinguish who is a cat and dog and who is a human being. There is no difficulty. What is the subject matter of his inquiry? And what he is after, what he wants in life. Everyone wants to eat very nicely in table chairs and nice plate, and nicely cooked food and palatable, never mind whatever nonsense it is, it must be palatable. So that is eating, eating problem. So in this way, if we analyze, it is not difficult to find out who is a human being and who is a cat and dog. That is, everything can be understood. So when one is inquisitive, jiggyāsu, and jiggyāsu means what kind of jiggyāsu? Inquisitive, śreya uttamam, jiggyāsu śreya uttamam. There are fields different fields of activities. So when becomes inquisitive to know the ultimate necessity, atantik dukkha nirvitti, ultimate necessity, śreya uttama. There are two things, śreya and prayā. I have discussed all these things many times. Prayā means immediately very palatable. That is called sre, a prayer. And sreya means ultimately good. Suppose if you take some palatable food star, it may be very palatable to you. There are many examples, just like uh, smoking. A smoking, everyone knows, the scientists, the doctors, they declare this is the nonsense thing. It should be avoided. They advertise them in the packet also. But people still smoke. But that is called priya. That is called priya. Priya means immediately very nice. And sreya means when one gives it up. No, it will keep my health nice. And that is sreya. Try to understand what is sreya and priya. Uh, another example, just like a child, he wants to play whole day. Uh, even Krishna was playing with his friends. Mother Jasoda had to call him thrice, four times. Uh, then he would come back. Uh, that is the nature of children. They want to play whole day and night. But that is not prayer. Uh, that is not sreya. The mother, the parents, take care. My dear boy, come here, take your bath, change your dress, take your food. It is already late. So he does not know that these things are sreya. He wants to play. Just try to understand sreya and prayer. Prayer means, according to one's position, there are different subject matter of sense gratification. That is called Priya. And Sreya means for future goodness, ultimate goal. That is called Priya, Sreya. Therefore, a human being is he who is inquisitive about his ultimate goal of life. 
to know how, what is my ultimate goal of life. That is human being. So jiggyasu. So when a human becomes jiggyasu, inquisitive, seo uttamam, uh, means ultimate goal of life, and uttamam. Uttamam. Tamo means darkness. Tamo means darkness. Not in the darkness, but uttamam. Udgato tamam jasmat. When he transcends this darkness field of activities. Tamasi ma jyotit gama. Don't remain in the darkness activity. Come to the light activity. So when one becomes inquisitive for the light activity, he is human being. Uh, he called gyanik. Uh, the kormi is, they are in darkness. Their activity has no meaning. The other day we have discussed, uh, bartha karma bhi. Bartha karma bhi. Bartha means futile, useless. The kormi is that they are thinking, very busy. If you go to see a kormi, he will say, oh, I have no time. What you are doing, sir? Now I am very busy. Uh, uh, I am earning money. So, but Shastra says you are simply wasting your time. Bartha karma. Bartha karma. So, karma means they are working simply for useless result. Uh, how useless result? Because uh, you have to change your body. Tathādeyāntara uh, prāpti, there is a fact, you believe or not believe, you are changing your body every moment. So simply you have no eyes to see, you have no brain to understand, you may be, because you are cat and dog, you cannot understand. Uh, because the cats and dogs, they cannot understand that there is another life after this dog's body and cat's body, they cannot understand. So anyone who cannot understand the simply simple truth of the transmigration of the soul, he is no better than this cat and dog. Uh, so these karmis are like that. Some of them understand. They uh, at least believe in future life, but they do not know how to stop this transmigration of the soul. That they do not know. Karmi. They know that it is uh, unavoidable to change the bodies. So there is no need of endeavoring. Therefore they do not know, they cannot know, neither can they can do. Uh, they simply, yes, there is life, but let me become in more comfortable situation. Just like in this life they are trying just to become in comfortable situation of this body, Similarly, when they understand that accepting at least that there is next life, they want to go to the heavenly planet, uh, sarga. Uh, but they do not know that that is also not ultimate happiness. Uh, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. You read nicely. Abrahma bhavana lokan punaravartina jina. Because if you, even if you go to the Brahma Loka, the highest planet, either by good work or by your aeroplane Sputnik, it is not possible to go there by Sputnik, but you can go there by your pious activities. Janti deva brata devan, pitrin janti pritri brataha. Janti, you can go, but you have to adopt the means. So, but these are for the kormis. Those simply want comfortable life of this body. Uh, they cannot understand that however comfortably I may live, I have to give up this body. Then what is my next position? They do not know. Uh, they are called karmi. So when one comes to this point to understand that this is simply futile to work for this body, he is gani. He is gani. Gani means he is inquisitive to know the ultimate goal of life, how I am eternal, how I can get eternal life. In this way he tries for it. Uh, that is called 
ज्ञानी कौनविक ज्ञानी जोगी एंड भक्त देर आर फोर काइंड ऑफ मैन सो ज्ञानी एंड जोगी ज्ञानी सिंपली स्पेक्यूलेट्स एंड जोगी ट्राइज टू प्रैक्टिस हाँ दैट इज द डिफरेंस दे आर एम इज द सेम बट जोगी मीन्स ही प्रैक्टिकली एंडवर्स एंड ज्ञानी मीन्स ही सिंपली थियोरिटिकल देस आर एवरीथिंग इन साइंस ऑल्सो देर इज थियोरिटिकल एंड प्रैक्टिकल सो कोर्मी इज इन द डार्कनेस एक्चुअली नाइसली ड्रेस कैट्स एंड डॉग्स दैट इज कोर्मी एंड ज्ञानी हु अंडरस्टैंड फ्यूटिलिटी ऑफ simply engaged being engaged for the bodily comfort he understands after all the body will not stay so how you why i am wasting by this way if there is another business uh, that is gyani and yogi means who practically endeavors so out of the yogis the bhakta yogi is the best that is recommended in the भगवद गीता जोगी नाम अपी सर्वे जोगी नाम अपी सर्वे देर आर मेनी क्लासेस ऑफ जोगी आउट ऑफ ऑल दिस जोगीज दे वन जोगी विच ऑल एज थिंकिंग ऑफ कृष्ण ही फर्स्ट क्लास जी ही फर्स्ट क्लास जी जोगी नाम अपी सर्वे मदगत अंतरात्मना मदगत थिंकिंग ऑफ कृष्ण ओली He, he may not know uh, very much about Krishna, but simply is thinking of Krishna. Oh, that is sufficient. That is sufficient. Uh, here uh, we have got the deity of Krishna, and if we twenty-four hours see the deity only seeing here, you will be perfect. You will be perfect. Uh, simply by seeing, and then here. Then chant. Huh? There are so many. Sabanam kirtanam Vishnu smaranam padasi manu. Nine kinds of methods. You adopt them all, or some of them, or at least one. Then you become perfect. Uh, that is bhakti yogi. Uh, Somehow or other, uh, think of jeno teno prakari na manak krishna nibhi saya. That is the in, instruction of Rupa Goswami. Somehow or other. Just engage your mind in Krishna. Samaya na da. Ti sam satatu jukta na. Krishna also says satatu jukta na. Continuously attached to me. Ti sam satatu jukta na. Bhajatang priti put bhagam. Priti put bhagam. Here it is priti. It is said priti ujjam brita. So with love. With love or no love, without love you cannot think of Krishna. That is not possible. So as soon as you think of Krishna, there is a tinge of love must be there. So if, as you increase your thinking of Krishna, then you increase your love of Krishna. Uh, that is recommended by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That is our ultimate goal of life. Prema Pumartha Maha. Prema Pumarth Mahan. Everyone is uh, attached to those who are human being. Dharmaartho Kama Moksha. Uh, the word means uh, they want to be religious. They go to temple, church for some material benefit. God give us our daily bread. Uh, that is their pancha. That is still uh, that is accepted. So in this way we have discussed many times. Uh, so the Gani, who is Mahatma, that is the subject matter we have discussed. So Gani, uh, the Mahatmas are to be found not among the Kormis, but on the Ganis, Gani field. Uh, just like in India, we manufacture some Mahatma. But according to Shastra, he is not Mahatma because he was Mahatma Gandhi. I mean to say, he was not on the uh, platform of knowledge. He was on the platform of karma, karmi. He wanted to 
deliver his countrymen from the clutches of the British Britishers. That was his aim. But because he was not gaining, he could not understand that why I am trying to drive away some people for the benefit of another. That is a great subject matter. So anyone who is on the kormi field, he is not gani. Uh, he is not gani or mahatma. Uh, then who is mahatma? Uh, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhunam janmanam ante. After working uselessly for many, many lives, like cats and dogs, trees and plants and like that, evolution. When one uh, works for understanding the ultimate goal of life, gani, uh, so gani is also cannot understand immediately that Krishna is the ultimate goal of life. They cannot understand. <coughs> Although it is stated that Vedaśca sarvai ahameva vidyam, through the studies of Vedas, what knowledge one should achieve? When one achieves the knowledge that Krishna is the Supreme Law, uh, that is, I mean, I mean, it's a perfection of Vedic study. Uh, but these so called gyanis, they are simply bookworm, simply reading Vedas, four Vedas. Uh, and they say, we are concerned with Vedas, we are not concerned with Krishna. Uh, uh, so, uh, just like the Jagik Brahmana. Jagik Brahmana, they were interested with the Vedas, but their wives were interested with Krishna. So they got perfection. So in this way, uh, jnanis, karmi are rejected. Karmis are useless. Uh, and jnanis, when they uh, cultivate knowledge, not in one life, because immediately they will not accept that Krishna is the ultimate goal. Uh, they, they are surprised. How Krishna? Uh, he was a cowherd boy playing with the cows and calves. He can be. Uh, this is Maya. That was they are called Mayavadi. They cannot understand. Uh, they cannot understand what is the position of Krishna, although they are studying Vedas. Uh, so the Ganis, though actually, uh, I mean, it's Ganis, they also immediately can. Therefore they have to try to come to this position of understanding Krishna of many, many births. Bhunam janvanāvanti. Not in one birth. They will have to uh, take birth. Their so-called liberation is not possible because if you have to take birth, then where is your liberation? Uh, there is no liberation. Liberation means no more accepting birth in this material. That is called liberation. So Bhagavad Gita says, Bahunam Janvanavanti Jnanavan. Those who are cultivating knowledge, so there is no mukti uh, because they have to take birth again. Uh, so in this way, Bahunam Janvanavanti Jnanavan Mahang Prabhupadati. When he actually comes to the knowledge point, he surrenders to Krishna. Uh, then, Vasudeva uh, Sarvamiti, Sa Mahatma Sudullava. This is Mahatma. When he understands that Krishna is the... because the perfection of knowledge means to know the ultimate source, jatātva brahma jīgyāsa, janmā dasya jatāha, from where everything is emanated. But they do not know. The scientists, philosophers, they do not know. They are simply speculating. That's all. Actually, they do not know. Uh, but when one knows, then he is perfect. Uh, one, and the, what is that knowledge? Vāsudeva sarva mīti. Samātmā sudullava. That maha, that is Mahatma. Uh, again, it is uh, further explained. Then what is the business of Mahatma? He suppose he understands, surrenders to Krishna. Krishna. Then what is his business? Simply knowing and surrendering will do? No. Mahatmanastumang Pratha Devi Prakiti Mahasita Bhajanti Ananda Engaged in service. 
Not that I have understood Krishna. Let me sit down and sleep now. <laughs> he is not Mahatma. But Vasudeva uh, Sarvamiti Sama Mahatmanas Mang Pratha Devi Prakriti Mahasit. Devi. Devi means spiritual. Uh, spiritual energy. He is in the spiritual energy, not this material energy. Ahara Nidra Bhavaita. Spiritual energy. And what is the symptom of being in the spiritual energy? Bhajanti, always chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. So they are Mahatmas. Thank you very much.